British Nigerian actor John Boyega is getting dragged on Twitter streets over remarks on his hatred for white racists. After he weighed on George Floyd's death, who was murdered by a police officer who knelt on his neck for over six minutes in America. But joining us virtually to speak on this is Joseph Okechuku, an actor and activist. Good afternoon, Joseph. Good afternoon. How are you guys Hi. doing today? We're very very well, thank you. Very, and very you? Well. Right, I'm doing wonderful, thank God. All right. So um, we're, we're still on the um, George Floyd case and um, what is the new developments? Um, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump has called the FBI to do a quick investigation on that. But do you think that mm -hmm. um, all of this taking place now would change anything about the racism states in America? Well, it's really not going to change anything. And there's a reason why it's not going to change any much. The reason why it's not going to change anything is that the people who actually claim that there's a racial discrimination against them have not come to a point of realization that there's something that needs to be done from inside out. Mm. We're still actually embracing that victimhood. We are we still at the finger pointing level where we are still we always want to point the finger at somebody, but we don't want to look inward to see what is really wrong with us. And beyond that, on a, on an introductory level, there's so much more to this killing that meets the eyes. And mm. if you want to go into that, well, I'll be happy to get uh, into that. Well, you can give well. us a few insights into that. Let us just know a few things that we don't know about. <laughs> Okay, so for me, um, if you have followed me or uh, at all, if you know anything about me, I'm a guy who thinks typically out of the box, and I, I, I don't, I don't talk what everybody wants to hear, and I've, I've got to tell you the truth, and I have that track record. So there's something talking from the the the, the point of view of a researcher, because I'm a researcher, right? There's something that we call the red flags. I don't know if you've ever heard about red flags, all right? So there's a type of politics that's playing out right now, and I'm not going to conclusively blame this on red flag operation, but I'm going to give you a, paint you a picture that will help you understand what is really going on. So several days ago, Joe Biden made one of the most, one of the most nauseating statements ever heard from a politician in American history. When he said that if you if you have a problem figuring who to vote into me and Trump, Trump then you went black. black. All right. Wow. And yeah, that was good. enough to sing the entire democratic vote for the yeah. 2023 elections. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, just a few days later, we have a cop who puts his knee on the neck of an innocent man, not necessarily innocent, but in this case, he actually not did valid, nothing right. compared to, yeah, nothing serious. I mean, you're talking about check, for check or whatever. Why, why should that make anybody die? Mm -hmm. So it does not make any sense at all. And he had a hand in his pocket and he was there kneeling and our brother was crying and the people were there videoing their stuff. And they were videoing it. And then the cops who came didn't do anything. They were just watching him do that. And after he, that was done, the guy just disappeared. And the next thing we heard was that he's been sacked. Okay. So if you look at a guy who does intelligence research like me, I am going to scoff at that and go, oh, my gosh. The people don't even know what just happened. Mm -hmm. Today, you cannot hear anybody talk about the Joe Biden's UN black anymore. Okay, wow. something is going on here. Mm. This, to me, and you will find this out in no time because there's an investigation going on now. This, to me, appears to be like a red flag. Mm. So and when red this flags is a are perpetuated, mm. they always use people we call the Manchurian candidate. Mm. So I see that cup as a Manchurian candidate. Okay, mm. okay, just to just to deviate from that a little bit because these red flags are obviously. Um, you people can argue with conspiracy, conspiracy you can argue reaching or whatever. Yeah. But just to go a lot sure. more 
on let's talk about something that we know for sure which is um john boyega who came out and made a video live to his fans about this outrage as it should be because this attack wasn't just to a black to that particular um, um man may so rest in peace it's about everyone who has it's the about skin the race color. the black race so he was very outraged and he took it really personally but he mentioned a statement saying that he hates every white, white racist. racist person that exists obviously that is very limited in the sense that it's not the white people who are racist, blah, blah, blah. But we can, we can dissect that in, in so many ways. Well, I wanted to know what your thoughts are on that. Did you think that that's a bit much for him to say? Or was it in his rights to be able to say that? If what you just said is what he said, I don't think he should be blamed for saying that. Mm. If somebody says, I hate all killers in the world, the person is not wrong. Yeah. If he says, I hate all white racists, he's right. Nobody should love a white racist. Mm. You shouldn't be loved if you are a racist, okay? But if he says, I hate all white people, that's where I will have a problem with him. I personally don't like white racists. Neither do I like black racists. We actually have a lot of black racists as well, okay? So if somebody, if Boyega is saying, I don't like white racists, I stand with him on that. I also don't like white racists. And we do have a lot of them in the U.S. We have them in Europe. We have them everywhere. Yeah. But of course, most of the time when these things happen, a lot of people tend to take things overboard. They begin to fight everybody who is white. They start fighting everybody. Oh, all these white people don't like us. They hate us. But go and do your research and check all the reports on, on gun violence in America. 99% of the deaths in black neighborhoods are caused by black people themselves. Black on black. And that is not to excuse what happened to our beautiful, wonderful brother. I mean, if anybody should die, it shouldn't be George Floyd. That was a wonderful human being. When I saw the video, to be honest with you, as a strong man as I can be sometimes, I didn't have the heart to watch that video. It was so heart-wrenching. I couldn't stand oh, it. Right. Okay? Oh, right. But the point is that whenever things like this happen, our reaction to it is always awkward. We don't look inside. We kill ourselves more than any other white man could kill us. Yeah. And uh, another right. thing that Thank happens you. is when black people kill white, our people don't want to raise their voices. They don't want to do anything. The media doesn't cover it. So that these other guys can also see that there's a the balance. But it's only when they kill us that you see all this huge media attention given to it. All Just right. three, Thank four, five days so ago, much, somebody sir. was killed. Okay. Thank you so much, Joseph, for your yeah. time. We really appreciate you joining us on the show. We wish and thank you so much. Yeah.